Hello guys, NGC2270 again. Welcome back to another video. Today I got, got me here a cathode ray tube TV. In fact, the original purpose for this is to, <laughs> to go to your thing Minecraft. Oh, this does not have, ugh, this not have touch screen. You know, this, you know, there were touch screen CRTs out there. Yeah, this is a legit CRT. I'm having it plugged into RF channel 3. I have like three channels. This thing has an add delete function also for channels. To the menu, but I'm not going to do it. Channel 69, which is a little mean thing. Oh, it is getting, uh, it is probably getting a, a picture from Minecraft. You can see what it's doing. It is just static. It's just ammo flying wherever you can get. And channel 4 is that. So that's channel 4. That's just static. Turn right back on Minecraft to channel 3. I will, yeah, I will put a, a heck of a lot more stuff in the description. At least I hope, or at least I hope I did. At least I hope I remember that. So I'm gonna keep looking CRT, but this is actually a color. Uh, this is the uh, oh a Dura brand. I think it's a DWG 1304 13 inch color CRT uh, color CRT television. That's also that's also made specifically for uh, also for gaming on retro systems like a Nintendo like a Nintendo NES like a, like a Nintendo like a Nintendo Entertainment System or Commodore 64 or something. Look at the darn thing. Is that the uh, wrong button? Also, the mention with Minecraft and also CRTs. The mention why I got the. There's also another reason why I got this. I wanted to get the CRT. I just kind of sort of wanted to get the CRT from the, that I used to originally use for playing Minecraft on back when I first started 2011, 2012. But that was having a few issues. For one, the red electron gun, because the, the color CRTs had. One at three electron guns for each color, one for each color. One electron gun for each color because, and also because how they're. We got the limitations when the when the NTSC color standard was created in the 1950s. My brain just broke. But then the red electron gun on that one, that one's like a probably like a 32 inch a giant CRT. One I used to use. But then the other thing was the. I think it probably cost uh, a heck of a lot more money than I got for than I got that I paid for this thing. Which I paid five dollars for a brand new uh, for a brand uh, a new old stock uh, to, uh, the CRT uh, like the tube itself like the one the thing that's creating the image, like the images on itself on the inside of this. Not just the whole te just the tube, just the image the picture tube. It would have cost a heck of a lot more money than I got for this. I got this for just five dollars. And again, because of the nostalgia, I used to, in fact, I used to use a CRT similar, uh, similar but larger to this one to play Minecraft on. And just, where I'm sitting with the, the, the settings bar, I don't know if you can see that or not. Well, so not my uh, phone, my, the screen, my, what I've seen on my phone screen is a little bit different from what I see on my, uh, when I actually have it on YouTube. So I'm not sure. It's like it's actually backwards because I'm using selfie mode for the giant steam locomotive right there, or just, maybe just the for uh, canvases, the canvas type things in, in a certain way. But I have a lot more description. Uh, I pop. There should have a lot more in the description that like how the like, sort of how like this things works with the uh, setup or something like that. But the thing is, I have a USB. Uh, not a USB. A uh, I keep saying USB, but this is I have an HDMI thing here. Time it's. Three minutes into the video, but we have like a I have an HDMI thing. It takes four inputs, and you can switch between the ones one output. Then the HDMI line, the output from this junction box goes to this goes to the HDMI digital to uh, AV composite uh, analog converter. Then the then the RC and the four the three RCA lines, one video, one composite video, and and then the left and right audio lines go to this to. Uh, RF modulator box, which can take a digital uh, RF, S video, and RCA, and and composite RCA on the other side here. S video on the other side. Then you have the you have this cord right here. The cord I'm holding right now then goes to the back of then goes to the back of the TV. To the uh, that's called. Then have I have at least this light here and then hmm, yeah, over there. I can't really see it over this on my phone. The screen is the pause and play button, things like that. The pause, play, the and the stop, start button, things like that. I can't really see stuff, and 
I'm resting on a calculator right now, so I don't have anything else similar size to what it needs to do. Uh, I guess I can just do this. Okay, that sort of works. Okay, because I don't have to use a calculator. But then I don't have the original remote to this. Remotes would actually actually be harder to get the remote. A little more tedious to get one, anyways. Then it was just to get an RF modulator. That's what I got here. Also, you have the channel 4 setting. Like, to me, like, channel 4 is quite a bit worse. Like, you can make a lot more of that digital noise than that, uh, a lot more of the digital noise from the, uh, digital amp to the digital analog AV converter thing. The, uh, is having, like, a few, it is having, like, I think that allows some out of the, uh, some out of the digital, the digital video, the, some of the beat digital. And this RF modulator on channel 3 covers some of that also. And let's see here, I think my microphone also actually functions as a good, uh, good monitor. Well, I had to work on some of stations like I had a, a connection issue with the USB line that allows this to get enough power to convert the, the, 0 .5, the, one, the 0 0.5 to 1 volt signal in a uh, signal from the HDMI to the 5 volt signal on the RC on the RC lines. This needs 9 volts, so that's what this is here. Right? See right. Interesting here. They disconnect and reconnect it. That's gonna be. That's gonna be. That's gonna be pretty dangerous. Like I have a USB extension cord. I still have it over here. This one's like a little bit loose somewhere. Like on the on the uh, male on the female connector here. It's a little bit loose. I don't know why. That caused that caused a few issues. I was having this thing go. The screen was going black. With that thing, not even be able to detect a single, uh, not detecting the uh, a display. So it's the like the uh, little like little line that goes high if there's as high for detecting a display. So that that's what that converter box does. It puts a high signal going back to whatever higher or digital stuff. Control my controller. And now after look at this, I'm playing Minecraft. There is a little bit of noise from like. And being amplified from like the intro sort of creating the ambient surrounding other like maybe from the box it's like the box HDMI line maybe pick up some signal from the HDMI most of it's from the uh, radio is from RS from the intro sort of create CRT itself and that's what most commonly the static is I'm gonna play it again don't worry my Minecraft will still be there as I showed that last time that's what the static is this is this static is actually just mostly the uh, RF as the RF stuff from the intro circuitry and find the intro circuitry. Some, if given the right conditions, it can actually pick up the micro background region also with these CRTs. So that's gonna be fun to play with. I actually might actually start a Minecraft series where I just have my phone just up it, this, my phone and the camera like this, or maybe the app. How it normal where you have the screen behind, we have the front camera and the screen behind it where it's facing directly at this this uh, the CRT. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned the model number, but it's a uh, it's a Dur it's a Dura brand DW uh, DWT thirteen oh four thirteen inch color CRT for use for both conventional television and as well as gaming on. Meant for gaming on like a uh, I don't what this thing's called, like Commodore sixty four stuff like that. I think I mentioned that earlier. I had to re I had to go back at this to see what I'm doing on my guys because was, you can see the steam locomotive there, little Hudson I built. Just mentioned the create. I'm actually working on something right now in Creative Mode Season Two. I might, and it might come out. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna do the video. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. But uh, I can't really give a time frame because I'm not really good for that. I'm not really good for getting an exact time frame. I do get videos out pretty late. If I give it out, then I might do early. I might be late. So I'm just not. I'm not gonna say exactly when I uh, get the video out. You just gonna have to wait for that part. But I'm actually gonna. This uh. Late from it's 8 802 p.m. It's 802 p.m. right now, Eastern Standard Time. I live on the East Coast of the United States. I thought I'm going to look about this and this because I'm playing Minecraft. This is creative mode, so I don't want like, a zombie coming up on me in return the night. Also, space mode, so there won't be any zombies. Or creepers. Or skeletons. Or those spider thingies. Mirror power level. I need to fall right through the insiders. Anyways, now, uh, before I drive myself even more insane trying to make this video, I'm gonna get off and 
here on the Billboard track. I'm not in the area of that. I'm just nearby to where the all my newer Steam locomotives are, so I'm including the right boilers. I might actually show those off. But I currently have no more room for building anymore. No, really, I really, I literally wasted all the use of all the room I had for building steam locomotives for building steam locomotives. So this will be NGC 227B again. Hope you liked the video. This will be NGC 227B again. Hope, hope you liked the video. Miss that button where I go. I have social media in the description, Discord, DeviantArt, and Twitter. So this will be NGC 227B again. Hope you liked the videos. NGC 227B and see ya.